Okay, so I wanted to tell a little story. Uh, th this will be my third secondhand story that I'm just repeating from someone else because I wasn't actually there for it. But like I've said, some of them, you just got to tell it about what uh, happened to my dad one time on his one and only trip to Israel in 2001. Okay, so he's in Israel uh, for a couple of weeks as a journalist, you know, riding around the country, going everywhere, including the uh, Palestinian territories, pretty much saw it all. But, as you know, he's a baseball player, and baseball does not take time off for him. Uh-uh. Like he did every winter, right, every January or so, uh, he would start throwing a ball to get his arm ready for the upcoming season because, of course, he's a pitcher. Uh, this is one of my biggest memories as a kid. You know, starting in January, I started hearing thumping coming from the basement, and I knew the season was coming up because he was throwing that ball <coughs> against the basement wall. I'd hear thump, 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 over and over and over. You know, it was like clockwork. And just because he's in Israel, doesn't matter. He's got to start throwing. So he's got his ball and his glove that he brought with him. And he starts looking for a place around his hotel to throw the ball. Goes down into one of the parking garages. And he finds enough open space where he won't hit any cars. And he starts throwing the ball against the wall. And he's throwing and throwing and throwing. And then at one point... The ball took a bad hop and ended up under a car. And he's like, well, I got to go get the ball. But it was like all the way under the car. So he had to really like reach in and get it. And as he's in the middle of reaching for this ball, he hears a loud voice like yelling behind him. Hey, hey, Tatsor, Matose, like, what are you doing? What are you doing under the car? And my dad gets up to find this angry-looking, like, Israeli security guard with, like, a fucking Uzi at the ready. I mean, this guy looked, like, pissed, like he's ready to shoot or something. And my dad's like, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a baseball player. See the ball in the glove? I'm throwing the ball against the wall. I'm working out my arm. I'm trying to be explain it slow and easy because Israelis know shit about baseball. And finally, the guy's like, okay, I get it. I see what you're doing. Just next time, watch <laughs> reaching under vehicles because, you know, this is Israel in 2001. It was a different world. Any, any old person could be a terrorist. You really didn't know. You know, next time, make sure you don't look like you're putting a bomb under a car so we don't have to shoot your ass. And then he goes, okay, thank you. And he goes back to throwing. And he's throwing for a little bit more. And then... He looks over and there's this Orthodox Jew that's standing on the side and looking at him, like really inquisitively, like he'd never seen this before. He watches for a few minutes and then disappears, comes back a few minutes later with a couple more Orthodox guys. Then they watch. One disappears. Before my dad knows it, there's like 15 of these Haredi, ultra-Orthodox Jews just standing here standing there staring at him throw this ball. Like, they're trying to figure out what he's doing. Like I said, most Israelis have never seen baseball. It's like Japanese to them. They don't get it. So finally, <laughs> the one Orthodox guy that speaks the best English, you know, they, they designate the best English speaker in the group to approach my dad and say, Sir, what are you doing? And again, like with the security guard, he tries explaining that he's a baseball player, he's a pitcher, um, you know, he's throwing the ball to, to work out and get ready for the season and blah, blah, blah. And then and the guy's like, oh, oh, okay, okay, can, can, okay. And he goes back to the group and they huddle up for a minute and they're talking in Hebrew or Yiddish among themselves. And then all of a sudden, all 15 of them go, Baseball? Pitcher? Oh! Koufax! <laughs> like, 
it's just amazing. You could be anywhere in the world, right? A Jew anywhere on earth. Know absolutely nothing about baseball. But still, you know who Sandy Koufax is. Never seen a baseball game in your life. Sandy Koufax retired in 1966. But still, you know the name, right? Even though Koufax was a 6'3 lefty and my dad's a 5'8 righty, it doesn't matter. To these guys, he was Sandy Koufax. And when my dad told me this shit, I just found it fucking hysterical, right? <laughs> Koufax! Yeah. <laughs> So that was my little story about my dad on his trip to Israel, needing to warm up his arm with the ball, and these Orthodox guys <laughs> knowing nothing about baseball, and the only thing they could think of was Sandy Koufax, who they mistook my dad for. <laughs> what a time. What a fucking time. <laughs>